If you've never picked up a circular saw, if you've been intimidated by them, I guarantee by the time you're done this video, you're gonna be like, I gotta get me one of those because Serena showed me how to use it and I'm ready to go. So in this video, we're gonna cover how to get started with your first cut, some safety things that you gotta keep in mind, how do you even set up a workspace, and we're gonna cover a lot of other things. So stick with me and be sure to subscribe. You don't wanna miss what we're doing here at Thrift Diving. So let's jump right into it, how to use a circular saw. There are several different sizes of blades that you can choose, and that's how circular saws are generally sized, is by the size of their blade. So you see I've got a small one here, which is a five and a half inch blade. The one in the middle is a six and a half, and then I've got a seven and a quarter. This is pretty standard. So generally when people buy saws, they usually go with the one that's a little bigger because it has more horsepower, and you're able to cut some thicker material with that if you have a larger blade. So I'm using the Ryobi brand. These are the tools that I learned how to use. I started with this little guy here in 2013, and then I slowly made my way up to larger tools. Now you could choose between going with a battery powered one, or you could use a corded. I typically go with battery because I can just pop the battery in, and then when I wanna use another tool or change the battery, I can pop it out. The more teeth that you have, like in this red blade here, the more teeth that you have, the smoother cut you're gonna get. And if you have a blade that has less teeth, then you're gonna get a rougher cut. Your blade here is covered by a guard, okay? This safety guard, when you're cutting, will move out of the way, and when you're done your cut, it will automatically snap back in a position just to protect your hands from the blade. There is a little safety feature here, so before you can actually pull the trigger, you need to push in this safety button and then pull the trigger. One of the cuts that it makes is a bevel cut. So generally, if you're cutting at 90 degrees, you're gonna get a nice straight cut, but you can also change the bevel. So if you wanna cut at a 45 degree angle, you can make those adjustments here on the front and your base will move. In the back, another lever. So depending on how thick your material is, sometimes you will need to create more area below the base here so that you can get through, let's say a two by four, versus if you're just cutting a piece of, uh, you know, maybe a one by three. And of course, we do have an area here for the battery. When we're ready to get started, we can just pop that battery in and then we'll be, re we'll be ready to go. And when we're ready to use a different tool, we can pop this battery out put it into another tool, maybe an orbital sander, and then move on to the next part of our project. This is just a three quarter inch piece of plywood. So we're gonna line our blade up here to the side, making sure we're not going down too far, and then we're gonna lock it into place. And that should be perfect. That'll be enough to get through the wood. You do not want this blade to start up touching the wood. So you wanna definitely start this back here, making sure it's lined up with that line, and you're gonna let it run at full speed before you touch the wood. And just a word of safety, make sure you've got your ears covered, your eyes covered, you're not wearing any dangly earrings or any really loose clothing. That's very important. We're gonna push this little safety lever here and then engage the trigger. So because circular saws cut on the upstroke, you definitely want to have the good side, the right side of your project, face down. That's the side that's going to give you the best possible cut, the best finish. Also keep in mind we're using the 24 teeth blade here just for demonstration purposes. It still looks like a nice clean cut, but if you wanted even a finer cut, you could again change your blade to a blade that has a lot of teeth. It can also do a bevel cut. So right now we just cut at 90 degrees, but if we wanted to cut at an angle, we could turn this adjustment knob here. So you can see with just a circular saw, we were able to do a nice 45 degree beveled cut. When using a circular saw, you can also cut on a piece of rigid foam insulation. This helps to support all parts of your piece of wood. To get a straight cut, I can also use a speed square on the side of a board to help keep my saw in position. So I get a nice straight cut. All right, 
So now when I pull this off, I've got a nice straight cut. There are some accessories that you can buy with your circular saw to get a nice even cut on a board, or you can follow some instructions to make your own fence. And here's a really important tip for getting accurate cuts. The width of the blade is called kerf. It's about an eighth of an inch. So if you are cutting, make sure that you're cutting a little bit to the outside of the line that you made in the scrap side. That way you're not cutting into your measurement and you're getting a nice accurate cut every single time. So if you're enjoying these series of videos on how to use power tools, give this video a thumbs up because it tells me that you like this and that it is helping you and leave a comment below. So be sure to subscribe. We have more DIY tutorials coming, more power tools tutorials coming, and uh, you don't want to miss what we're doing here at Thrift Diving because it's definitely going to help you in your DIY projects. I'm Serena Pia from thriftdiving.com and I will see you next video.